Nashville Day in the Life crisis. Let's go see what we got without getting killed. Staying safe is going to be number one. Good thing I've been doing weights. I know not why I got so lucky, but I'm grateful we're alive. We have each other and we have the good Lord. What is your worst sunburn experience? You're going to get whacked in the face of America. Let them know. <laughs> Let them know. I keep thinking that I'm immune to this, but every single time you're going to see just how bad of a mistake is mm. all cracking and burning. Good morning crew from the Nashville town. We are taking you guys all around the world and the country lately, but we don't get to take you guys around the hometown much. One of the reasons I am so excited to take you guys around is because we just got brand new e-bikes. These are literally the coolest thing since sliced buttered bread with pickles. I've got the Onks black. Tiffany has the bumblebee yellow. They even have a gem blue, which is inspired by Tiffany blue. I probably should have went with that one, I guess, next time. I'm gonna give you the lowdown on why these are the most affordable all-terrain fat tire bikes on the market. They've got seven speed Shimano gears, super comfortable seat. You can be off-roading, you can be on-road, you can be riding through the field. Hey, hit a little water. These great wide covers keep dirt off of you. If you've ever rode a regular bike, you hit a little mud, it'll splash all up you. It's gonna keep that from being a problem. LED front and back lights. You got a little dinger right there. The screen is so easy to use. Tells you how fast you're going. They have an 87 mile peak range. That's just with one battery. You can get them with two batteries, so you never have to worry about distance again hydraulic brakes for great stopping power you're going to absolutely have a blast like we are we're gonna buzz you guys to some of the local spots and i think the coolest thing about it is you can take in so much sightseeing without being utterly exhausted tiff has arrived for the ride on October 16th to October 29th Ingwe will release their limited edition x24 and x26 bikes these can go up to 28 miles per hour, and the hydraulic brake system is great. The back rack I like because we can do picnics with. It's a really cool design. You feel really sturdy on it. We're going to put on our helmets and show you around a little bit. Half that link. Right at the top of my bio, you're going to get a promo discount and be able to check out all of the cool bikes that they have. Safety first. We got our helmets. Let's go. Isn't she the cutest little biker? <laughs> Alrighty crew, I done tested mine out. I'm riding in heaven in this bad boy. Woo! Yes! Boom! They see me rolling, patrolling. <laughs> I feel like the baddest. First stop in our adventure. Tiff, tell them where we are. This is my favorite spot to watch deer. They have deer in Tennessee, guys. Tons of them. We love to come here and just watch the deer walk across this field. There's normally five or six of them every single evening. I saw one earlier and before I could get the camera on, it buzzed out. But I did see two ginormous bucks for this area. On to our next adventure. Off we go, guys. Having to leave Tiffany in the dust. She likes that slow train. I love all the farmland around our house. We're near the city, but it feels like we're way out in the country. Coming up to stop two guys. Let's do it. It's a little spooky, gotta be honest. But hey, there's a lot of history here. Stop two guys, you're never gonna guess. Right there, reminder of the brevity of life. <laughs> this is not really a real stop. I just did it to show y'all because all these graves are like from the 1700s. 
1800s. Tip told me not to add this stop for our hometown adventure, but now you know. We got here in record speed. Hopefully we don't get there in record speed. <laughs> I'm trying to drag that one out as long as possible. But on to the next, my favorite. Cruising! Guys, I could literally do this forever and be happy. Nothing like the countryside with some sunshine to make your life a whole lot better. We are officially entering my favorite part of the tour. Tiff's catching up. I had to speed. You can do that on these. Guys, I forgot the picnic lunch. It would have done us well. Peek at the creek, then we got a bus home because I do have some projects to finish up. Let's take you up to the swings. We are loving this, but the one thing we do need to work on is <laughs> keeping up to each other. I leave Tiffany in a cloud of dust. She leaves me in a cloud of dust. Woo! Speedy Gonzalez beat me to the final destination. This is why I love this place. I love this swing. As you guys know, we already have a swing like this. We modeled but, it after this one. Yeah, we actually did. We're gonna stain our swing. I let you guys vote on it. Stain or paint, and actually we're making a compromise. Stained on this portion, and it's gonna be painted on the other portion. So I gotta go pick up all that stuff in my truck. Tiff's gonna get ready at the house, prep it, and then I'm gonna bring that stuff back in my truck. The best thing I think so far about getting e-bikes is we can travel so much further and enjoy the nature and the adventure without getting tired. Check them out, see what you think. Adventure as far as you can. Now you've seen a little bit of the countryside around our country home. Yay, let's go pick up the stain. I'm gonna beat you home. Catch you later. Living that American dream, woo! I don't think it gets much better than this, y'all. Just another day in the life of a Bates adventure. Let's go see what we got without getting killed. Staying safe is gonna be number one. Hey love, can you hear me? How are you? We do got a spare under there. I do see that. I hope it has air in it. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. That tire has definitely seen its better day. I don't think there's any salvaging. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to break down and put the new ones on it. There's really obnoxious sound because they're doing work behind our house and I am loading up my car because Lawson just called me and let me know that his tire blew out on the side of the road. I'm going to load some tires and bring it to him like the strong woman I am. Let's load some tires, guys. I'm very scared. Oh my goodness. Good thing I've been doing. Wait. <laughs> I just broke my toenail. One tire to go. I'm very nervous. I managed to get two tires in the back trunk. I guess I don't need to do my arm workouts today because I got two tires in. There's my two tires. Now I just need to get two more in this tiny RAV4. <laughs> I don't look very good. I was not planning to drive to Lawson on the side of the road today. Okay, it will not go in. It was easier to put it in the back. So let's try it out again. I'm gonna push 
finished the tire and so I could get the fourth and we're ready to go. Alrighty crew, we're an hour in. Spare, I think, is flat. Gonna need a truck. I will advise you guys. If you're on the side of the road, something that I have already done half of this trip is staying on the hill. Even if you're way far enough off, you never know when somebody might slam you. And I really pray that's not the case, so I'm getting nervous, so I think I'm gonna hop out again. But hopefully the tow truck will be here soon. My wife, Tiffany, is so amazing. I have new tires in the garage, which is the stupid thing. I should have put them on, I was waiting, and I guess I waited a little too long. 285, 75 R16s loading them up in the car herself because she's a boss and she's bringing them over here so i'll show you what we're looking at and hopefully this tow truck will hurry up and get here before we melt on the side of the highway fourth time i am so proud of myself right now because i have been lifting weights trying to get stronger and while I look absolutely pathetic trying to put these tires in my car, I would never have been able to do this. Now I can. I don't want to do it again. But I'm doing it and I'm documenting this. So even if you're petite and small, you can lift heavy things. I'm telling myself I can. Last tire, guys. I'm, I'm sucking my gut in, I promise. Disclaimer, I'm not just like throwing my back out. I'm tightening my tummy and I'm squatting, guys. Tighten and squat. Woo! Okay. The pushing's hard because the rubber's like rubbing against each other so it won't like easily push it in. Maybe that'll close it. Yes! Oh, I did it! Okay. Here we are. Very proud of myself, you guys. Never thought I could do that. There you go. Tires are loaded. Let's go rescue Lawson because that's what we do on this YouTube channel. We rescue Lawson. <laughs> this is the Rescue Lawson channel. Living the dream, baby. Check it out. I don't think there's gonna be any recovery for this bad boy. I have the tires all loaded. I changed because I needed to. All these videos, I'm always like so out of it. We are coming up on Lawson. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I am headed to Walmart where I'm going to meet him once he gets a spare tire to change the tires with the tires in the back. I still don't see Lawson. I'm like driving and I don't see him. Beep, beep, beep. Here he is. Bye. There he goes. I was honking because I wanted him to see me, but hopefully nobody thought I was like having a car accident or something, but I honked anyway because there was no one in front of me. There he is. Hi. Lucky man. Three and a half hours on the interstate. We got the old junker tire on there, dry rotted as all get out, but it made it here. The worst tire is in the back and I'm putting the new tires on because my queen is an absolute boss <laughs> and she loaded them up by herself. I can't believe it. What a powerhouse muscle. Holy mackerel. I know not how she did it, but she is an absolute beast. I can help you. I'm really good. Now I know I can load tires, babe. You make it look so easy, and I was struggling guys, so she's hard. An absolute boss. And he makes it look so easy. No, these are actually pretty big, guys. 285 75R16s. It's a big tire, and it's a all terrain, so it's even got a little more rubber on it. Hey oh, new wheels. It's not really new wheels, but there is something about getting new tread on your car that even if it's an old one, makes you feel like a winner again. That's me right now. <laughs> old truck, new feeling. It's rock and roll. The queen hero of the day. This is a Nashville day in the life crisis and I'm gonna head home and finish out our epic new swing that Warden helped us build. Try to get it all painted and looking beautiful. This adventure has just begun. Flat tire to outdoor home makeover. Tiff, how do you feel after being such a boss babe and getting those tires in this SUV by yourself? Good, I loaded the tires, drove an hour and a half, and brought him steak too. Been a long I know day. not why I got so lucky, 
but I'm grateful to the good Lord and to Tiffany. There is a song that says it could get better than this. And I'm going to flip that around and say it could be worse than this. We're happy. We're healthy. We're alive. We have each other. And we have the good Lord. So it definitely could be worse than this. It's a tire. We got new ones. Let's get back to Nashville without breaking anything this time. Lord willing. Alrighty, crew. You're gonna see just how bad of a mistake this was. All that red. I'm an idiot, but some people have to learn the hard way, and I guess I'm one of. What do you think of the black swing outside? I think it looks great because it looks like it goes with the house now, and the swing, we're gonna stain it beautifully. So let's do this. I'm gonna hang this thing up, and of course, we've gotta give that Southern Home Americana touch, hang our flag up. Let's go. Get her done. Come right on over, folks. Help me get this up there. <laughs> okay, guys. It's great, man. Let us know what you think. Really We're pretty. Good excited about this. I just realized I got this one twisted up, so I've got to change it. Your back is so red right now. I'm laughing. What is your worst sunburn experience? I feel like I've done worse, but time is going to tell. In a couple of days, maybe this will be the worst. <laughs> I already got a line from my jeans, but at least I don't have the good old traditional redneck farmer's tan. What y'all think now? Rue, what do you think? Got to get that final touch. Let them know where we're proud to be from. Help me out, Tiff. Okay. You got to tell me which side you think this should be on. What do y'all think, guys? It should peak at the top of the thing. Is there a way we can make it shorter? Okay, how about that? here then? You're going to get whacked in the face of America. Let them know. <laughs> Let them know. They're just gonna come be like, oh, America. <laughs> Welcome to America. That's what they're just gonna walk up and hit themselves. This is where it's gonna be. It's closer to the swing and it's not in your vision when you're sitting down watching the sunset. So let's get it up and let them know. Proud to be American. Home sweet home. Let's fly her high. It looks so good. Here we go. What is your favorite patriotic song? Gotcha. American dream. All day long. <laughs> Guys, put in the shameless musician plug. You can get American dream on vinyl right here at the link. I'm gonna put it in the top of this caption just for you. Go get yours right now. And if you get it from this video, I'm gonna autograph it for you. Get your vinyls. American Dream, own vinyl, just for you autographed. Let's go. Okay, crew. It's midnight and setting up that swing and stuff was fun and cool and all, but I should have wore a shirt. It looks okay now. <laughs> I'm like the glow in the dark, guys. It is mm. all cracking and burning. I keep thinking that I'm immune to this, but every single time I get burnt like a crisp toasty. It feels like I'm on oh fire. God. I'm just telling you this for PSA. All you folk out there, wear your shirt or at least wear sunscreen. <laughs>